In today's video, we're checking out the redox of the KO Lucky Draw with, of course, the legendary um, ICR knockout and the uh, it's quite a quite a decent, um, I think, alias skin, alias boxing something or other. Um, so yeah, uh, both quite decent skins, I would say. So yeah, I'm highly 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 checking it out. So yeah, if you do want if you do want to go and enjoy the video, make sure to of course like and subscribe. And if you do want my ICR loadout, then make sure to of course stay tuned ten for that. And let's get into the video. Today shout out goes to S Cold Gaming. They have 19 subscribers at the time of recording this video, and they yeah, do mainly multiplayer related content. So if you do go over and enjoy any of their videos, then make sure to of course like the videos you do enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy the channel in general. Of course, I've linked down below in the description and up on the screen here. Make sure to go over, be supportive, but leave any supportive comments for what you enjoyed about their videos, and be positive, but leaving any positive comments on how they can improve the videos. So yeah, make sure to go over, be positive, be supportive, and let's get into the video. Okay, so here we are in the train mode, and as you can see, first of all, we're going to be checking out the boxing gloves. I didn't even realize that they had that, but they have confetti on them, which is quite cool. I don't ever really use boxing gloves, but um, I do like these ones. Uh, they are a bit bland, uh, nothing 100% special, but still decent. Uh, it's going to get a 5.5 out of 10 for me. Yeah, nothing too special, but nothing too like, bad either. I believe boss guys are one of the more popular melees, so of course people will like them. And also it goes well with the with the um, theme, which is of course a fighting such martial arts kind of theme. Uh, so yeah, we have the ocean uh, we use. Let's just use the claws. Why not? As you can see, the character skin obviously it's based off a US, uh, UFC fighter or a, a mixed martial arts fighter, I should say. Uh, yeah, but yeah, super. It's a super decent skin. I I would definitely. This is definitely one I would I would use. Um, yeah, seven point five out of ten. Really, really nice character skin. And of course, finally, we have the ICR skin. As you can see, it's themed of, of boxing. So it's got the boxing glove and then the punching bag, and of course, KO. when you hit. So yeah, overall it's a really nice themed one, uh, and it gets better. Um, not too much animation to it, but it's got some decent uh, changes, and the iron sight I would say is better than the base sight here. Uh, less, less chunky I believe. So yeah, overall I'd give it a, uh, a solid 6.5 out of 10. Um, not the best, but definitely not the worst. Uh, and the the can affect it, isn't it too distracting, although maybe when it does say the KO line, it is it can be a little bit maybe. Although it doesn't, it doesn't seem to always say it, which is also good. But yeah, it's pretty pretty decent one, pretty cool one I would say. And uh, one that's definitely I would say worth checking out. And uh, now in terms of the ICR, um, it's a bit of a more, meant to be a bit more of a slow pace up, and I would say definitely more of a medium to long range gun. And uh, the, uh, the up close space damage is not, not the best. Um, but I believe it does have decent range. 
and the recoil is very much minus well. So yeah, I think the main thing with this one is the damage just let, does let it down quite a bit. Uh, and, not, and, and the fire is not. And the, 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 the fire it's, 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 um, the, the fire is not the best, so you can't compensate the low, that lower damage of that. It's very comparable, what I would say, to the M4 at the moment. So, and, and both of them are beginner friendly, but not very like um, high damage in got weapons. So yeah. So yeah, definitely a uh, definitely a gun that I wouldn't have, I wouldn't personally ever use myself. Uh, just because I do like the more aggressive guns, so I have, I have, I have built up with more of a high mobility. This is a good range. So we'll see. I know, I didn't even realise this, but it does have a little bit of aim shake on this one actually, so maybe, yeah. So, here's the recoil pattern. And this here is nothing too, nothing too bad, quite nice control. Um, and yeah, that there made the aim shake a bit more apparent. And that's one of the major downsides of this, is it's hard to hit, be accurate on the head and stuff, just because of that, of that lower, um, of the uh, aim shake. As you can see, the uh, the hitbox factory is a bit all over the place, and not too bad, but it's still a bit over the place. So uh, only a 5.5 out of 10. And then we have 30, but is that 30, 36, and 42? So I have to hit three body shots or two headshots. Two or two headshots, or two headshot, or, two, or one headshot to make it a three-shot kill. So yeah, not quite as bad as I thought it'd be, but still not the best. I would say it doesn't have a consistent three-shot, especially in this two-tap meta. So it's uh, so order drops down to 28. How am I missing? 20, 33 and 39 over these ones there. So you have to three up order shots or two headshots to make it a, uh, a three shot kill now. And finally all the way out at 40 meters. 24, 28, 32 that might have been. 32, 32. 33. So three headshots to make it a three shot, otherwise it's going to be a, 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 a four shot. So the damage isn't the highest battle I thought it might be, but it's still relatively low compared to some other guns. Uh, so definitely one that's um, a bit more of a sit back and be passive gun, more than a, a, an aggressive gun I would say. So yeah, it wasn't my favourite gun, but still a very nice one. It still wouldn't be too really bad to use. Uh, of course, the, the main downside of this one being the, uh, the, the aim shake was quite bad and can, can be sometimes difficult, difficult to, uh, to use, especially if you're, if you're a new player, so yeah. But overall, it's a very decent lucky draw, I would highly recommend checking it out. And the ICR, uh, it's a very, um, it's an interesting gun, not one I'll never particularly use myself, but yeah. So yeah, overall, very interesting, very, very decent lucky draw, and uh, the ICR is not one, not something I'd ever use myself. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, overall, a decent, de decent lucky draw, I would say, and for a decent, for not not best weapon, but still an all right weapon. So yeah, yep. Now let's get into, of course, the ranked game players.
have the heart. As here's the ice up build I was using in today's video. I can, as you can see, it's an increased accuracy and mobility, uh, just to make the ice a bit more versatile because it has decent range, but obviously the mobility is um, the damage isn't the best. So you want to get your shots off as quick as possible, so of course you want to increase the mobility. So here we have the YKM Integral Suppressor Light Barrel for the sight ability at minus 10% ADS time. We have the No Stock for the minus 14% ADS time, plus 3% movement speed, and plus 10% ADS movement speed. We have the OWC TAC lasers, minus 8% ADS time, minus 9.2% ADS bullet spread. We have the 49 extended mag, minus plus 10 mag capacity. And now we have the Granlis Grip Tape, minus 11.6% ADS bullet spread. Yeah.